Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much uh, to have the opportunity uh, to show our uh, new ideas uh, in uh, Pigment Inc. and the next step of uh, Pigment Inc.'s next generation from Durst's side. Uh, I will uh, do a small uh, introduction uh, of the company. Durst is a family-owned company with a 500 uh, million euro turnover with uh, uh, 15 percent uh, with a 15 percent uh, um, research and uh, development uh, investments every year it's a 10 percent uh, earnings after taxes and it's a bank free company Durst is uh, for over 30 years uh, in the digital market starting with a digital uh, laser printer and then uh, with digital uh, inkjet printer coming into the graphic market and then later on uh, moving uh, into the ceramic market and then label and last but not least textile and of course we have few other segments like glass printing and other digital printers We have uh, a lot of uh, research and development uh, centers. We have two of them uh, in Austria, where we develop our own uh, inks. Uh, and of course, we evaluate all the, the print heads and the nozzle plates uh, of the print heads. And uh, in Lienz, uh, we do basic research uh, also for the future in terms that we try to print uh, skin or other things. So it's a, a really research center uh, where we, we play around uh, with the stuff and then to go to uh, the research of the new inks, uh, what we have to, to present uh, today uh, in the market. Markets and customer, where, where we want to go with pigment, uh, at the moment is the classical uh, pigment market, it's a, a home textile market with uh, a quite uh, low uh, price uh, level. That is the major market. Then of course is the fashion market, but their pigment at the moment is not uh, a solution. And, uh, of course, soft signage is, uh, in the polyester side, not a solution uh, at the moment because the, the brightness of the colors are not uh, sufficient. But let's see what brings the future for this uh, new pigment things. A few figures uh, to, to see uh, in the market uh, what's going on uh, from the classical market. So, uh, as uh, uh, Mark uh, said before, a lot of printing is still uh, conventional, it's rotary, it's screen printing and only a very small percentage is uh, digital but now starts uh, the big uh, growth uh, for, for uh, this uh, digital, uh, you know, digitalization of the market. In the ceramic market uh, the di digitalization uh, was over in uh, roughly six, uh, uh, six years. Maybe in textile it takes a little bit longer, it's a little bit more splitted and a lot of more applications and a lot of more substrates, but uh, the start, uh, the digitaliz digitalization uh, starts in the market. If you compare here the, different, uh, the difference in uh, conventional, a lot of printing is pigment printing due to different uh, low-level substrates, the, due to low-level uh, ink price uh, of the pigment. On then reactive is the higher market, and if you compare this with uh, digital, there is a lot of disperse and uh, reactive, but only 2% pigment for very uh, small machines uh, at the moment. Then let's see a little bit about uh, uh, what is the end user uh, uh, want to have um, uh, from, from the textile market. So the end, the end user for the home textile market, uh, they need uh, cheap, low price, acceptable, pleasant handle. And accept is also with this cheap uh, price, uh, he accepts uh, taller colors and uh, the light fastness have to be. So the solution for this market, this low level market, is uh, the classical pigment printing on cheap fabrics, not on high end uh, cotton fabrics, on different uh, cotton blends, uh, cotton polyester fabrics, uh, uh, where the, the, the price level is, uh, is uh, much cheaper. And for the higher end home textile market and for the fashion uh, market there, what is the customer expectation? Bright colors, soft hand, varying comfort, and therefore the solution can be a few. One uh, is uh, the quality cotton uh, with uh, reactive printing, 
and finishing or um, uh, silk, for example, silk can be printed in reactive or with acid inks uh, to have a deeper uh, uh, black inside. All these natural fibers uh, like wool and silk can be printed with uh, acid. And for the polyester, of course, it's uh, the direct or the transfer sublimation uh, printing. A solution where also uh, the polyester market is developing quite well due to new fabrics, uh, new quality of fabrics, and uh, it's another market uh, who is uh, growing. What is the, the expectation uh, from the producer side? The producer wants to print on as many as possible substrates with one ink type or with one machine. And that is a, a, a quite an important um, a wish uh, what the, the producer have. Then of course uh, uh, it's an um, easy process and also the investment have not to be as big. Investing uh, today in a reactive line, it means uh, uh, investing in steaming, washing, uh, then all the wastewater have to be uh, uh, carried out in the right way. So it's a big investment in a textile company. And uh, uh, so he don't want, normally they don't want to, to do this uh, big investment. And of course, ecology is also an important uh, uh, issue what we have to follow, especially also in market like Bangladesh or others. Uh, they have uh, zero water waste uh, going out of the companies. That is the next goal for, for the next uh, five years. So it's, uh, it's becoming uh, quite an intensive uh, way to think about uh, the whole uh, reactive process. Then, uh, of course, uh, the knowledge uh, for uh, a non-textile company have not, uh, it's very, very difficult to find because you need to settle down the whole process in a reactive. It's uh, from uh, pre-treatment, post-treatment, uh, steaming and washing is, uh, you know, it's a lot of uh, tricky things to, uh, to follow to have a good result. And uh, this is quite difficult uh, to find uh, out, outside. So you see the two different figures, uh, the, the upper side, it's um, the, the, the pigment process where you print and only bake or find, uh, finalize uh, the fabric in the oven. And below is a reactive uh, process where you have then to steam, to wash and to dry again uh, the, the fabric uh, to have it uh, uh, finished. So this is uh, a big difference in the two processes. Pigment ink, of course, all our pigment inks will be tested uh, or are tested under the different uh, European uh, standards. Uh, for the light fastness, the wash fastness, the water fastness, and then uh, the resistant to wet and dry rubbing test, uh, what is one of the most important uh, uh, tests to be carried out uh, for, for the inks. Here you can see a chart. Uh, we have developed a new pigment ink with a quite uh, heavy uh, a dye load, so the color fastness uh, uh, in terms of light fastness is uh, high between 8 and uh, 7 uh, for the, ma the major colors. We have uh, the CMYK, some green, orange and uh, three lights. So we have uh, nine colors uh, as an option. Uh, therefore, uh, normally in, the, in our printer it's eight colors. So we choose uh, the three lights and then the green and the CMYK uh, as a normal uh, uh, configuration. Then uh, you can see on the, the lower lines uh, that we have um, the, the wet rubbing tests uh, on uh, cotton and on polyester. So with a tree, this, all, all these tests are carried out without uh, post-treatment and pre-treatment. So they are quite good. And with pre-treatment, they can be improved for another point. So it's a quite interesting uh, uh, solution. Below, you can see in reactive uh, what are there the, the benchmark uh, to achieve. The important thing is uh, that uh, the process has to be settled down in this way that is um, uh, fixed directly uh, in the oven of the printer. So we have uh, two models uh, in our range uh, with high speed uh, pigment. It's the Kappa 180 and the Kappa 320. We have uh, speeds uh, up to 870 square meter for the Kappa 320. And uh, the drying time in the oven uh, can be done at uh, a working speed of uh, 400, uh, 500 square meters. So with 500 square meters an hour, the, the product is finished because you need uh, a drying uh, time of four to five minutes with 150 degrees.
Another important thing that is uh, a specification uh, of our printer, the, the, the sledge is uh, a mirrored sledge, so we have uh, the CMYK in the in left and right stroke, uh, we have always the same color sequence, so it means up also that uh, you speed up uh, more. So this is advantages what we have and we need to have. Then the, the oven is here, it's a, a three passes uh, with 150 degrees uh, and uh, we can then uh, really uh, finish the product uh, in, one, in one step. Pre and post treatment. Uh, pre and post treatment uh, is definitely needed for reactive, because uh, reactive uh, the, the ink stands not on the fiber and uh, will not uh, go into the fiber without pre treatment. So if we try to print without, so it's a, it's a white uh, uh, linen or white cotton again. In pigment we can do also without uh, pre treatment. So there the color gamut is a little bit less, but you can do it also without. So for certain images or for certain markets. It's a quite interesting uh, way to do the, the printing without pretreatment. Therefore, the pigment inks, uh, it's, uh, you can see here on the left side the picture with uh, three different uh, uh, versions. The first uh, is uh, it's a pigment uh, without pretreatment, in the middle is reactive. And in the right side is a pigment with pretreatment. So we can now, and that is, I think, the most important message: we can uh, reach uh, the we can reach the uh, the pigment uh, can reach the reactive in terms of color gamut, in terms of of shiny colors, and also in terms of, of the grip uh, of the fabric itself. I have some samples here. If someone wants later on uh, look on the sample, it's uh, we can uh, pass the samples uh, through to you. Important is also the cost calculation uh, to have uh, uh, have to be done uh, quite uh, important. On the first row, uh, you see the, the pigment with pre, I mean with pre-treatment. Uh, there we have on the first row uh, the uh, prepared for printing is singeing, uh, bleaching, uh, and all this stuff to do. Then is the second uh, column is uh, the prepared for digital printing. Here, of course, uh, the digital pre-treatment for pigment is a little bit uh, more expensive than, uh, than with, the, uh, with the reactive. And then it's the printing uh, of these three different images below. The left image below uh, with the flowers have an ink consumption of 2.5 grams. So it's not as the old pigment inks with a heavy ink load uh, to put on the substrate. Now it's becoming, compared to re uh, reactive, near to the, near to the same amount. Uh, I think it's a 20% more uh, to have the same uh, color gamut. That's a quite interesting side. So the ink consumption is going to, because we are able to do a, a heavy dye load, it's going uh, to meet uh, the reactive side. And of course, then uh, you don't need uh, the steaming and washing. And uh, the stenter for the high quality, uh, you need some uh, softening to add. Uh, so for the high quality market is uh, 0 0.84 euro cents a square meter uh, compared uh, to the reactive of 0 0.89. So we can, and that's the important message, we can go into the uh, reactive market with this new ink if we do pre-treatment and post-treatment. Without uh, pre and post-treatment uh, we can achieve the, the second market and this is the market uh, of the of the um, uh, cheap pigment inks, uh, of the bed sheets, uh, where we don't need uh, bright colors, where we can uh, uh, need, um, where we can use this uh, this pigment ink without the pretreatment. So, with one ink uh, and uh, with two different uh, uh, processes, uh, we can uh, match two different markets. And I think this is a revolution that is not only a new ink or a new color; it's a, a, a revolution in this uh, field. All this uh, is uh, tested and uh, developed together with uh, Stanford and Barracks. It's, uh, it's a UK company. Hello, Gavin. So it's a UK company. Uh, this is deep in textile from uh, reactive uh, to the different uh, uh, process in rotary screen printing and having also a, a big uh, digital uh, department. They are approaching and developing together with, uh, with us this market. Thank you very much for all your help uh, on, on, the, on the real textile side. So that is uh, the small presentation. Uh, I would like to say thank you for your attention. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, I'm here uh, to answer uh, this.